Hey, Soul Gardeners, it's Julie Zipper. Are you really ready to transform the way you live your life? Well, in 40 days, we can do just that together. For more details, go to 40daymeditation.com. Hi, Taurus. Welcome now to Thursday, and thanks for logging in. Partly sunny, charismatic, and cool today for the bulls. Wave that red flag. You're not going to get me to, to chase after you. That's because the moon is in Taurus. So emotions and ego are working on the same team. Taurus is a very charismatic right now, really focused on point. Probably going around doing what you do best, which is producing things. Producing children, producing albums, producing companies, producing drama. <laughs> if you're Barbara Streisand, who's a Taurus. Taurus is produce, right? And today you're in a good spot to do just that. Your emotions are on your team. Your ego is representing. Zipping in the sun. It's all about the theoretical this month. We're in chapter three of Sun and Capricorn. Today Mercury rules the day. And here's the weird thing. Mercury itself is zero degrees Capricorn. Zero means zero. Which means that today the thoughts that come to you will probably be thoughts that are uh, either hidden. Uh, it could have been a lie that's exposed. It could be uh, truth that is found. It could be denial that is broken. It's like an honorary Mercury retrograde day, one day only sale, okay? So today is a great day actually to go looking for a fact that you can't find. If you've been looking for a certain fact, you know, like sometimes I'm trying to find out someone's birth time because I want to run their chart. Today's a day where you're going to find that hidden fact. You're going to find that weird essence of knowledge uh, that you've been looking for. You might have a conversation come up where it's really kind of strange. Now here's the one thing I'd say. This is not a day with all the Mercury weirdness to like go out and talk to your uh, wife about your marriage and how it's not working. Eh, unless that's the weird fact that needs to come out. You know what I'm saying? But my point is, is this is a good day for processing thyself, but not so good for uh, sharing what you come up with. Because the whole world is kind of wigged out by what they're discovering too. Now Venus is in Sagittarius. Venus is the loving creation vibration, if you don't know. Restores balance and harmony uh, and justice to any situation. Venus is in Taurus's house of trust and intimacy. Bow, chicka, bow, wow, Tauruses. This means that Tauruses right now are A, quite fertile, B, very, very randy. Okay, I don't know if you've been feeling it. I'm not going to comment, but Venus in Sag does mean this is an excellent time to forge new deep connections, okay? And the relationships that you have right now, no matter how shallow your relations might be with certain people, you might actually be planting the seeds to deep, rich friendships or lovers right now. And this is a once a year transit, by the way. So uh, the actions you take right now may have deep consequences later. So be very conscientious. And Venus is there for you to connect in a good way. And it's Thursday. I've got Sadiqa Salter's Renegade Aroma Therapist going live today. Today, Sadiqa talks about the powers of violet and what this beautiful purple flower can do for your soul's well-being. Sadiqa is chock full of spiritual wisdom, and she is live everywhere violet blooms. Okay, Bull, that's all I have for today. Tomorrow, Venus rules the day. That's rainbows galore in just 24. Until then, live, love, be. So God.